version of Cat Phantom Horse was one of those weird shows that played on Cubo. But something that was just like, yeah, we don't really mind that much. Because I don't remember there weren't that many episodes of the TV show to play. You know, I think it lasted for one season, I think. Probably, probably did more seasons, but really just, it played a lot of the episodes during night time. Like near like Denver, The Last Dinosaur, and Where on Earth is Common, San Diego, and all that. But close enough to the day or they were near the kids. It was just that one of those shows that played between the kids shows and the teen shows. But basically what this show is about is about this kid and he goes to a circus and I think he was an orphan or something like that. Or he lives in town with his grandpa or grandma or something. I know it was something like that. But the circus is in town. And it stays in town for whatever. And the circus stays. you know, he stays, you know, with the circus, whatever, and then all of a sudden he will, you know, then he works for the circus, you know, That's pretty much the whole TV show about this gaff boy who joined the circus. In a way, as just working. For them. And there's a cat. And the circus has four main animals. Marvin, the tap dancing horse. Then there was a pig who was emotional, but she can balance plates. Then there was this elephant that could balance. Then there was this tiger with green eyes. I don't know what the tiger did at the circus, but the biggest plot point through the whole series was because he had green eyes and everyone loved his green eyes. And he was, you know, he was one of those like grouches of a you know, TV show, but everyone loved him because of his green eyes. Now my thoughts on the whole TV show, basically my review was, I thought it was good, funny, but did I, I didn't really get into it. Really? Because... <laughs> Yes, it's a good show to watch, but I did watch all the episodes of it, but it was just like, eh. Like, the first couple episodes, you like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get into this, then once you go on, it just feels like the same old school. And... It was just, like, a couple episodes, yeah. I think, like, after, like, half the TV show was done, they gave up on ideas and just said, screw, you know, screw it, let's do whatever we want to, because no one really going to care about our TV show. It just feels like that, like, half the season they gave up. It's a good show to watch, but after a while, it 
just becomes the same old thing, you know. And, I mean, it was interesting because when you hear a show called Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse, you would expect it would be about this horse that can tap dance. But Willie, it's not. It's about this kid who works at a circus with a tap dancing horse and stuff goes on. Oh, there's another character I almost forgot to mention. You know what I mean? It's just the guy who wants the circus is part of the main crew, one cast or whatever. But other than that, he does not bring anything really to the TV show other than he owns the circus. I mean, there was this one episode I remember where his competitor was um, some clown guy who also went a circus. But other than that, this TV show, I really didn't care for even though I watched it. It was like one of the shows you watch just to watch. Just to get to the, like, if you were a teen, because this started appealing more when I was a teen.